Oh, geez, my hair. Oh my goodness gracious. Ah. Hey doers, it's Stuann, and I hope that you've had a wonderful week. So for this video, I just wanted to talk to you guys. I feel like I just haven't spoken to you guys in a while. All of my recent videos have been like cooking videos. I did an interview two videos ago. I went to like a Charlotte Tilbury event that I wanted to share with you. All these things I was like capturing and sharing, but I feel like we haven't like sat down to speak for a while. And I just wanted to connect with you guys more for this week's vlog. So how are you doing? Honestly, maybe take this moment to like think and reflect. Or have you been working on yourself mentally, emotionally, physically, exercising, all those wonderful things? I'm praying that everything is like golden and lovely in your court, but most likely if you're a human being, <laughs> there's definitely areas where you're just like not doing so hot and that is totally fine because me, people walking down the street, everybody in this world is probably right there with you. Time out, I just saw Craig walk by and it's only like 4 p.m. and he's already off work and home. That just made me so happy. <gasps> Yay! Hi baby! You're so early! I'm actually shooting a vlog right now. Huh? I'm actually shooting a vlog right now. Really? Yeah. How are you? You're recording? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to do a talking vlog. Cause like I haven't talked in a long time. I know I talked to you. I talk. I know. I I know. Anyways, I wanted to bring this all up because last night Craig and I went to dinner with um, a friend who is possibly going to plan our wedding, which is lovely. I've actually known her for like five years, and um, she was just like, "How are you?" And the first thing that came to my mind was my mental state and my ment and how I am right now, like mentally, and. Honestly, it hasn't been so wonderful. So if you feel the same, just know that you are not alone. In a past vlog, I talked about how I have a gene that's linked with anxiety and depression, if you guys didn't know or if you hadn't watched that video. So anxiety is something that I deal with on a daily basis. And so I constantly have to work on helping myself through it. So some days I'm actually great with all like the tips and tricks that I, I do to help myself. And sometimes, no matter what, I feel like I'm just not doing so hot. And I finally started seeing a therapist again, and I'm so happy because I'm like, it's much needed. The last time I saw a therapist was like three years ago when I was also really bad. And I hate that I wait till I'm like not doing so great. I feel like it's something that I need to have ongoing um, now that I'm like, you know, now that I think about it. But I always wait till I'm not doing very well and I'm like, okay, I need to find a therapist. And today was my second time and I felt really great. There were so many things that were like shown to me today that I didn't even realize. And I just wanted to not just talk about me specifically, but in case any of this is like relevant to you or you feel the same, then it, it's just like a perfect reminder how amazing we are as human beings. One of my favorite vlogs that I've ever posted is vlog 69. And that's because I was just super vulnerable and just shared um, my story about losing my father, which is like one of the biggest, hardest things I've ever dealt with. And um, he passed away in 2011 now. And um, I, I swear, I couldn't find it earlier, but I swear that I had a vlog that I was open and talked about an accident that my dad had when I was nine years old. Maybe, hopefully by the time I'm editing and uploading this video, I would have found it unless I like recorded it and just like didn't share it. <laughs> hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully I did share it because I know that it would help people who had somewhat similar experiences to like not make them feel so alone. So hopefully I find that vlog. But long story short, my dad had a brain injury when I was nine. He fell and just hit his head so hard that he was in the ICU for like a week. And um, when my mom and I and my grandma went there, he didn't know who any of us were. He was in the hospital for, I wanna say like four months. This was in Los Angeles. And then they transferred him to another hospital in Northern California. So like a seven or eight hour drive um, for a year. She like brought up the word trauma today. And, um, and she's like, of course you have like, like all these anxieties and ways of like how I, feel and like sometimes I don't feel good I always feel like I have ailments too like <laughs> like all these things and she's like because you've dealt with trauma and you've like had so much that you've you know gone through from such a young age and the word trauma like really st st 
stood out because I've never really thought of it like that because when it happened and growing up it was just like it was just what was and um, she just explained she's like yeah when you're nine I forget how she explained it but it was perfect it's like you are your parents like you guys are just like one you know um, it's not till later when you like kind of like are like oh I like this I like this I'm a completely different individual I was just this young girl that was like a daddy's girl and this happened and it was prolonged he was gone for a year and a half and in the beginning didn't know who I was and just trying to like understand all of this and and um, deal with it was just, I, it, I totally agree that like to this day, I'm not um, fully healed. If you've been through not necessarily a similar situation, but anything that you've gone through that's been very hard in your life, even like a bad car accident, like anything like that, that just shows that right now that you've been through a lot and how wonderful it is that you Maybe you're not 100% okay, maybe you're not like 70% okay, maybe you're only 30% okay, but that's a big thing and you need to like give yourself more credit than you do because if you're like me, I'm always like, oh, like I don't think about the fact that I, I, I went through all of that and how strong I was to get through all of that because sometimes when you just like spiral and wallow, you're just like, you think of yourself as not so great and it, this I want this to be a reminder that you are amazing. It's funny because after my therapy session, I went to get um, orthobionomy. The student studying orthobionomy right now, and she like uses me as like her practice like once a week. So um, I'm very lucky I get that for free. <laughs> She's just practicing on my body, healing your body just like very gently, because um, like I just always have aches and pains. But she brought up stomach issues and stuff today, and I was like, yeah, I've had that since. I was nine <laughs> and I think that obviously those two are re related like I was just so stressed out about my dad that I started complaining of stomach issues when I was that age by the time I'm sorry I'm sharing so much with you guys but maybe in some sort of way you can relate I don't know but um <laughs> if you're still listening yay when I was 18 my stomach wasn't better even though I was seeing a doctor like all the time I had precancerous cells in my esophagus so I had to have this like big surgery to fix my stomach and um, when I was telling her this she like touched my shoulder and she's like wow you don't seem like you've been through so much and when she said that I was like wow like I don't even I didn't even think about like these things as like big experiences and then also I was just like I don't even think that she knows that my dad passed away which is actually the biggest thing that has happened in my life but even these other things that maybe you're not realizing that you're not like pinpointing that like that happened to you I'm sure so many things along your life because life is literally like up and down up and down you might not even realize it but please please take the time to just remind yourself what an incredible, incredible human being you are. Work on self-care and give yourself a hug and just remind yourself how amazing and like wonderful and strong you are. Because I think it's just something that we need to do on a daily basis. Okay, I'm done. On another note, I went to the library a couple days ago. Let's see, what was the other book that I read? I definitely read it and I like told you guys to read it. Yeah, the You Are a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. And I saw this one, I didn't even know that this existed, so I grabbed it at the library the other day. If you wanna grab it and read it and know that we're reading it together at the same time, that would be amazing. I'm just gonna read you this little thing literally on page three, cause I loved it and wanted to share it with you um, before I let you go. She talks about going to the spiritual gym involves any combination of the following. Studying self-help books, unearthing your limiting, thoughts and beliefs, and doing the work to get over your blocks. Even if the work includes stuff like cooing, you amaze me into the mirror each morning or singing a love song to your shadow self. You must be willing to do whatever it takes, no matter how excruciating. Meditating, listening to powerful speakers, journaling, making gratitude lists that leave you sobbingly aware of what a miracle your life is, reading biographies of people who inspire the crap out of you, exercising, listening to music that makes you feel like an invincible pillar of joy, strength, and don't mind if I do, saying affirmations over and over and over until they become your truth, making a vision board and staring at it all the time and smartening yourself, breathing slowly, intentionally, deeply sucking in the good, fully breathing out the bad, stretching, and last, writing down your manifesto and visualizing yourself in your new life to the point where you can feel it, taste it, own it, get all choked up and grateful for it. 
So I hope that you guys are incorporating some of these things. If you're not, then hopefully it's a reminder to do them, um, at least some of them, maybe daily if you can. Definitely the meditating or journaling, stretching, whatever that you can do to help yourself because you're a wonderful human being and you deserve it. So I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I know I just sat here in my kitchen and spoke, but if any of this, you know, just made you feel anything, um, hopefully just the fact that you're incredible, um, then I did my job and I'm, I'm very happy. I love you, I love you, and I will see you next week.